Sometimes there are moments where you're like, yep, only other simmers would understand this. Here are a few of those. But first, real quick, let's talk about the best way to purchase Sims 3 or Sims 4 packs, and that's through Instant Gaming. If you want discount games or DLC, not just Sims, I highly recommend checking out Instant Gaming. You'll find PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo games for real cheap. You can find the link for it in the video description. Murdering your Sims is hard. Ah, the classic Sim pool trap. Remove the ladder and your Sim is doomed right? Wrong. In Sims 4, they can just hop out like no big deal. They've become pretty good at climbing out of the pool all by themselves overnight. Goodbye old school pool traps. So you think, fine, I'll just wall them in. But these Sims have an endurance like a marathon runner. They'll go days without food, making you question your methods. They'll get uncomfortable, sure, but not enough to meet the Grim Reaper anytime soon. It literally takes so long. Cooking accidents, you say? Set the house ablaze! But these firemen are faster than ever, and Sims themselves have become fireproof superheroes. And they somehow just dodge the flames, you know? Before, not so good. But now, pretty good. Your Sims' culinary disasters turn into minor inconvenience. They'll extinguish flames and carry on like nothing happened. Except for a negative mood glitter, too. And nowadays, a new fear. Space missions, perhaps? Surely the cold void of space could take care of our little problem. Nope. These sims have better survival rights than seasoned astronauts. That's all from playing chess. They come back every time with nothing with a slightly shaking confidence. So you see, in The Sims 4, our virtual friends are tougher than ever. Attempting to send them to the afterlife is an exercise in patience. Maybe, just maybe, it's time to let them live. Or just switch to The Sims 2. Let's set the scene here. You're returning to the game after a nice long break. You got some good ideas for your gameplay. Maybe it's a challenge. Maybe you're gonna do a scenario. Maybe you have a storyline you want to follow. Or you simply want to jump into the game and figure it out as you play. Either way, you're definitely going to spend way too much time in build or cast mode or both. You might spend so much time in here that you completely forget about live mode or you're just too burned out for it. This is a real problem. You can honestly sink hours upon hours upon hours into cast or build mode. That's why some players use The Sims 4 as a character creator or house building game, and I don't blame them. Live mode is severely lacking. At least these two modes feel more so complete. You start with the best intentions. I'll just play for an hour, you say. But then, build by mode happens. You enter with a simple goal. Build a cozy little home. Fast forward three hours later, and you're still deciding between two nearly identical shades of beige for the living room walls. Do I go with the warm or cool beige? The fate of my sim's happiness depends on it. Before you know it, you're deep in the rabbit hole, adjusting the angle of every single piece of furniture to find the perfect feng shui. Hours have passed and you still haven't even gone into live mode. Your sim's house is a masterpiece, but they haven't lived a single day and haven't seen it yet. And don't even get me started on create a sim. What starts as a, I'll just make a quick sim, turns into an all night marathon of outfit coordination and trait selection. You become a digital fashion designer, meticulously picking the right hairstyle, makeup, and accessories. Every outfit must be perfect for every occasion, and they must have multiple outfits. Unless it's a male sim you're creating, then that's real simple. Suddenly, you glance at the clock. How is it 2 a.m. already? You haven't even moved your sim into their house yet. But hey, it's all worth it when you finally hit play and you see your sim living their best life in their perfectly designed house. Just remember, fellow simmers, time flies when you're in build by mode and cast. Set an alarm or don't. We all know you're going to ignore it anyways. Ever wonder how to become an astronaut? Well, in The Sims 4, it's simple. Just play chess. That's right, mastering the fine art of checkmating your opponent somehow makes you a prime candidate for space exploration. And other things. Congratulations to your sim. Your ability to outsmart other sims at a wooden board game qualifies you to handle complex space missions. And meet aliens. Need to level up that logic skill even faster? Just grab a book because reading about logic is just as effective as 
practicing it. Duh. Or why not mix some potions? Alchemy is the logical next step after chess. And just like that, you're promoted. From playing chess in the park to commanding a spaceship. That's how careers work in The Sims 4. So next time you're feeling unqualified for your job, just remember, somewhere out there, a sim became an astronaut by checkmating a grandmaster. Aim high, fellow simmers. Aim high. Maybe that could work in real life too. Welcome, Welcome to, the to the wonderful world, world of The Sims, Sims where, where prices, prices are, are, let's just say, a bit, a bit out, out of touch, touch with reality. reality. Need a new bed for your sim? Sure, you can go with the basic option, but wait. For just a few thousand simoleons more, you could get this luxury mattress with guaranteed good dreams and a good vibe overall. Because nothing says sweet dreams like spending half your sim's life savings on a bed. And let's talk about toilets. The toilet paper roll here is, well, take a look at that. That's how much it costs. How about kitchen appliances? That fancy fridge that costs more than your sim's entire kitchen? Totally worth it for the slightly better chance of not breaking down. Because who wouldn't pay top dollar to keep their virtual leftovers fresh? I would. Even the small stuff gets you. A vase for a few hundred millions. Better get that insured. So next time you're decorating The Sims 4, just remember, your Sims' financial decisions might make you laugh, cry, or a little bit of both. Or they might make you jealous. But at least they'll do it in style. Even if they're broke. So, what other things that happen in The Sims that only Simmers would understand and would get a good laugh or cry out of? Thank you for watching the entire video. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video. Let me know if you did. And until next time, I hope you stay happy, healthy, and hydrated. Okay, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.